Turn my light down. And I don't know if it's too dark or not for me. Because the problem is when you turn a lot of lights down that have like a white and yellow LEDs to do color adjustment, it ends up being like yellow. So now I have two rather yellow lights. Although it is much easier on my eyes, which was kind of the goal. So. I think I am okay being a little bit more yellow than I actually am IRL. Well, it's not, I mean, it's not that bad. I need some like clips back here to hold my mic, not mic, headphone cables behind my ears. This is like a nice earworm type of song. Damn it, I did it again. I launched it. Is it the correct EXE? I think it might be. But I don't have flawless widescreen open, I don't think. So that's an issue. need to unmute it my mouse okay um we are headed i'm playing a different game and now my brain is like what are the controls just launching OBS because there's too many steps that I will never remember them all. Alright. So, we did most of the non... Yeah, there's a couple night bosses. Um, we could go do Draconic Tree Sentinel, I guess. He's gonna be over here. I mouse the hell off the screen. Yeah, we can go do Draconic Tree Sentinel real quick. And then there might be... Is there another boss over here we can do? Or is he... There is a tomb we might be able to get to? We'll see. Dude, it's crazy how much different the game looks for me just because I adjusted my lights. Jelly man. Hulk. I 
wonder if there's actually any good items here. Okay, there's like a little plateau here. Alright. I dig it. Yeah, there's something that's kind of lost when you're not exploring and finding all these locations on your own. Oh, these are enemies. Ooh, winged crystal tier. Interesting. No idea what that is. Uh, yeah, that's a little too high. apparently. Wiggy cracked tear and a crimson crystal tear. Okay. Briefly stop rune loss on death in mixed physic. Okay, that's pretty cool. Temporarily boosts holy attack. What else did we get? Winged crystal through temporarily redu re reduces equip load. I wonder how many. Oh, sorry. Glad I missed. Thought you were not the thing you are. I wonder how many, um, like, items for your physic there are. Okay. I wonder if they will de-aggro or if they will just keep shooting at me. I suspect they will keep shooting at me. I don't really know. Should we just fight this guy straight up or should we try and cheese him some? Kind of want to cheese him, to be honest. Okay, so we must be headed way the fuck down there. So yeah, we'll have to wait till we get into the city to do that. I don't know if this is how you sneak up on him or not. I'm gonna say it's not. Oh, I love this music. Uh, he doesn't do near as much damage as I expected. Although phase two will probably be a problem. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did we mimic? I don't think we need to. Oh, I was just about to pull out the bell. Problem is, like, I don't necessarily need to heal. Ooh. 
but I do need to heal to stay out of like one hit range. Like, I think if I hadn't healed, that probably would have killed me. Ow. I can't believe I rolled that. I'm um, holy shit. Crazy that I rolled that. How many flasks do we have? Two? One? Just need a couple more good hits. That is not quite what I meant. close fifty K souls for that seems worth. I'm assuming those are strength. Yeah. I could wield it in a couple levels, but like why? Oh yeah, we should probably mark off. Free Sentinel. I could have ridden my horse all the way here. Oops. The game I'm playing has A as the interact button. Do we do this or do we do to go to Mount Gelmir? Do we go to Mount Gelmir or do we do this? Let's see what the what the like guide says to do. I'll do whatever the guide says. Mount Gelmir before Landell. Got it. Oh man, so we have do we want to do... Yeah, we probably need to do the Volcano Manor quest then, don't we? Go kill Istvan. I don't actually know if it's required for sure to get to Rykard. I don't think it is. But I think you have to do some shenanigans if you don't do the Volcano Manor quest. I've never done these before. My first time. Oh wow, he's way stronger than I expected. Oh my god. That's hilarious, dude. Oh, alright. Fine, I'm gonna heal again. The fuck? not quick enough to emote. Wow. Did we get his weapon too? I saw we got like four things. I'm assuming not. Uh, so I'm, I guess we have to go back to Volcano Manor then?
Did you read the letter? That is the task. The volcano you will be compensated once the... If you are loath to hunt your... But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meat. You've completed... I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true. This is your reward. As promised. Ooh, magma shot. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Now you are a rec I am pleased. Now you I am pleased. I thought you had to kill four people. Whatever. Oh, what are we leveling now? Do we want to level faith? What do we have as far as incants? Twenty eight for some black flame. Four forty thirty five. Forty, thirty-four, forty. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Is it actually worth getting more faith? We'll just get some bigger. Fuck it. Um. What other? What other bosses do we have to do? Like a lot, but oh, there, yeah, there's the magma worm we ignored. Oh yeah, there's the whole, there's the whole place, the whole city that we just noped out of because we got destroyed by that abductor virgin, right? How do we get there? Not a clue. I'm assuming not through the dead end hallway. Is it just out the front door? We were there once. Yeah, no, not this way. We got a sight of grace here? Oh, okay. Didn't remember getting a sight of grace, alright. The long boy himself. That damage seems a little better than last time we were here. I'll be honest. It's just like what items are actually worth it, you know? You're a dickhead. You're both dickheads. Well, I don't care about those man. He's not throwing anything at me. You are though. Not quite enough sauce to two hit. A little disappointing. Is there a ladder or something? What are you doing? Ow. Dude, I'm trying to scratch my eye. You gonna do me like that?
Hmm. Well, that seems scary. Alpenarg blood clot. Okie dokie. A little weird. Anybody else hanging from the fucking ceiling? Okay. The tremendous effort to open a man-sized door in this game. Oh. Thought I get to pay attention. sure you're not alive okay thought I'd ask wasn't anything else this way, right? Like, this is just the bottom of the stairs? Oh, no, there is. Okay. It's just so nerve-wracking existing in the FromSoft world, I tell you what. I wonder what the worst... What would the worst uh, FromSoft world to live in be? I feel like maybe... Bloodborne? Why did I rest? I didn't need to rest. That's going to respawn enemies. Uh, we could jump here, right? That's like a thing we can do. Should we, though? I don't know the routing or like the pathing. When you go down into the lava. And the map for this area is like non-existent. Sure, we'll take the ladder. Lots of sluggos. Alright, so there's a path there. 
I think that's towards the entrance, though. Did they explode? No, they just kind of fade away peacefully. All right. It does not do you any good to jump. I need to remember that. This feels like a trap. Feels like a crab or something is going to pop out of the ground. Or not. Okay. Ooh, do I have Bloodhound Step as an Ash of War? Because if I do, that would probably be worth putting on something. Hmm. Okay. I thought you did for some reason. Like, I thought you got it with Bloodhound Fang or something. Fuck you, buddy. Oops. We got a sluggo. These guys are just dickheads, aren't they? Like, he doesn't even know I was going to kill him, you know? But he just decided that he would do first. I do know that you can platform on these buildings to get somewhere important. I didn't tell you where important, but somewhere. Is it here? Is it this elevator? I think it is. No, I don't want to be lizard whipped. Thank you. Yeah, I think this elevator is important. That one goes down. This one goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I picked the right one. Oh, that's what looks weird. Big spooky man. Okay, not, not that big spooky. Let us extend uh, the bridge. Did I really need a cutscene for this? That's a spicy meat, the ball. I wonder if those cages were used to lower people into the magma at all. Or if they're just their, like, happenstance. That thing cooled quick. It's good for me because I'm barefoot. Actually, I don't know if I'm barefoot in this set. I'm not. I have actual booties on. Okay, so you can s do a skip here. I'm not going to attempt it because I would never be able to get it, but this is where the skip is done. The skip. Old boy in here. But now, ooh, should we... We don't have the sleep pot recipe. Should we just fight him straight up? We've already fought him once. We could fight him straight up. I kind of want to go get sleep pots though. Where's the sleep pot? Uh, thing. Book. Cookbook. Crafting book. What are they called? Cookbooks, I think.
Beaver's Cookbook. And it is... in this graveyard here. That I apparently just never went to. Seems questionable height wise. Well, this is not helpful. Whatever, I'll figure it out. Guess this is why I didn't go to it, right? I don't know, we need to take the take the graves over there. You're just sitting on a grave reading a fucking book. Now, do we have the materials to make the sleep pots is the next question. I don't need these runes, but I, I want them. Oh yes, we have many a sleep pot. Only four crack pots, but that's probably enough, right? Famous last words. Um, so we probably want to go back to the church because we just unlocked the bridge. I'm not going to like try to learn the rest of the uh, keys or anything, the loop. But I do think the sleep pots will be good for a few free hits we'll see what kind of damage we do whether or not we need to summon our mimic friend oops Good night. Sleep tight. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't think we need to summon a mimic. I should have done like a charge dart or something right there. Wait for the stand to come back. How did that not kill him? I couldn't resist. I was gonna try and do it while he was rolling, but I didn't process fast enough. God, skin stitcher, and noble presence. And 50k souls. Okay. A good chunk of change. I want one more point in Dex. I don't know why. No, oh, fuck it. We'll do Vigor again. Uh, what is Noble Presence? I mean, like, I know what it is, but... We could cast that. I guess we could attune it. No reason not to. I will get rid of that, though, because I'm never going to use it. It'd be cool if you could have these, like, in your inventory, but not in your hotbar or something. Serpents. Amnion. I wonder what that is. This is snake skin. I never realized that before. Interesting. 
It's like a weird. Uh, what is that? Snake, Amnion, something like that. I can't imagine it's a crafting material, right? It's not going to be a talisman, no. Hmm. Now I have to look it up. It's given to Raya in her quest line. Got it. We go up. I guess we could look around. I think there's stuff up here. Whether or not it's anything good, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure there's stuff, at the very least. The money. candles Exciting. where's the boss gate that we can see is it down there I mean there's definitely stuff down here right down here. Ooh, big money. How much is a golden in 10? Or 12, excuse me. 7,500. Are these guys worth killing, actually? 185? Nope. finger. Came all this way for a finger? It'd be so cool to have to memorize a game like this. Not for any particular reason, just like, I don't know, I find game knowledge impressive. Nope, way too far away. God, dude, that's huge damage for not being able to see inside. Spooky. Spooky. I should have just got the last hit off. Okay. Sorry, there's a video playing on the stupid fucking wiki because that's something that they decide to do. Is it... It's not switching... What is it that lets you walk faster? I thought it might have been blocking, but no, it's not. 
definitely not rolling. Beetle. In the lava. Bomber 5. How exciting. Yeah, if I remember right, there's nothing that away. Dude, I have no clue where I lost my souls. But it's comical to me that they're still on the map. Angry snake man. Oh, do they all explode? They sure do, don't they? I think if I go get this, I have to walk back through the lava, but I don't know. Commoner's headband. That's me, I'm a commoner for sure. I think this is the way forward, but I honestly don't remember. Okay. That lava does a lot of damage. I didn't send the elevator back down. Dude, I was so far away. I think I was like two feet away from a grave still. Oh well, say love you. Now we gotta skirtly up whop our way back. Past all the sluggos. The sluggos. Over the lava and through the woods. Where Rykard's house we go, you know? Yeah, I'm not fucking with you this time. Leave me alone. See you, idiot. Are you coming in lava? You sure will, and of course you don't take damage. Alright. See ya. I'll just drink the bubble tear for good luck. Okay, so now we have this guy. I don't think these guys attack. I know you kukri this guy in like speed runs and shit. Ow. Holy shit, he does big damage. Dude, I thought for sure that would hit me through the fucking wall. Okay, there it is. Whatever, I'm just moving on. I didn't use any uh, pots in my first run because I thought the cracked pots were consumable. I did not know that they were, um, like, that they replenished after use. These guys aren't worth killing, are they? I guess I can find out in a second. Okay. Bone sword key over there? Looks like it. This is a teleporter, right? Before I take the teleporter, I'd like a side of grace over here, if possible. So I guess we'll see what's up the stairs.
Alright, fine. I'll spend one. Oops. Oh yeah, I hate this place. That's a one-way street too. Well, shit. What if I go the other direction outside with all Fire Nine Tails? Two fifteen. Not worth killing, but I'm compelled to. Lots of row of fruit. That's weird. I do like that they tried to keep consistent with like their symbolism in the different areas. Like this place worships Rykard and everything. So they just, everything is about the snacks. Okay. Wow, that's potent. Oh, uh, is there anything? Does this wrap around? It looks like it might. Nope. And over here. Nada. Nada. Who's chasing me? Hmm, okay. This is either going to be unlocking a shortcut or it's locked. Okay. Do I go... Do I jump down? Uh, no, I don't think so. I do not think jumping down will get me into there. This elevator might, though. This elevator is hopefully a shortcut. Yes, it is. Cool. I don't know why I rested. I already have this grace. And I have mostly full supplies. Okay, so this is like where the skip would take you. There's nothing here, right? Yeah. Alright. Now we can go to the cages or the teleporter. Teleporter is going to be easier to get to, I guess. We can try that one first. Okay. Yep, have a little snack there, bud. Nice little final meal. Um, I don't see any reason not to just run by like everybody here. Ow. Wasn't quick enough for that one. Can you backstab these guys? I assume you can. Does not do near enough damage, though. Yeah, you have fun with that, bud. I will be not participating. 
Alright, so teleporter. Dog, we gotta talk about your aim. You couldn't hit the broad side of a fucking right card, dude. Alright, teleporter time. Apparently, this is how you get to record. Okie dokie. Um, fuck it. We'll level. Oops. We need 51,000, so we need 15k more. Like that. I should look up like what a dex build looks like in Elden Ring. I do enjoy doing my own thing. But I also enjoy having a good build. Um Serpent Hunter. Some of the best Lines in the game, baby. Okay, I um, don't know if we're ready for Rykard exactly. Do we have a uh, strength? Actually, you know what? I do, I don't necessarily want to min-max, but... Uh, Godfrey gives you a talisman pouch, Margit gives you a talisman pouch. Finger reader Enya after bringing her two great runes. Do I have? I don't have two great runes. I could go dupe some. Yeah, it's just Godfrey, Margit, and Enya, right? Because you start with one and you can get up to four. I think that's the case. So, we could go track down a couple mausoleums, I suppose. Is that what they're called as mausoleums? Fertile? Interesting, they're not marked on the um, map. 
There's one east of the isolated merchant's shack in Weeping Peninsula. Okay. Yeah, because we've been to all these. We just haven't... Well, not all, but we've been to some of these. We just haven't duped anything. Oh, I do have two remembrances. Never mind. I don't need to dupe. I mean, we'll dupe once since we're here, but... Uh, where's my Bloodhound Fang? Found it. Is this the one that we attacked? I don't know if it saves that, uh, like status, but I guess it does, yeah. Do we have. Yeah, yeah. Regal Ancestor. So we've got Moose, Estelle, Godric, Renala, and Radon. I'll look those up. And see what we see. So Renala's is 20k runes. Or we can get Full Moon or Carrion Regal Scepter. Okay. For Dawn's is Lion Great Bow or Star Scourge Great Sword. What do we need for the Lion Great Bow? Is it Strength or Dex? Both. We need 22 Strength. So I don't think we can wield that. I don't think that's worth getting. Or 40k. So Radon's the best one so far, I think. Moose is 30k. And we can get the winged great horn or ancestor spirit horn. Oh, the winged great horn is like the staff thing. And the spirit horn is a talisman. Okay. Ash of war or bastards stars, which I'm assuming is uh, Estelle's stupid... Wow. Interesting. It's a uh, staff. I assumed it was his uh, like rock throwing spell. And then Godric's is Axe of Godric or Grafted Dragon. Meh. So I guess we'll dupe. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can dupe them infinitely, I think. We'll do Pradons, and then we will turn that in and get the Great Bow along with um, one of Renala's things. Uh, where are you? Are you back here? You must be. Yes, you are. I had my only... Fine work, brave Tarnish. You have earned the right to now. Seek the... To become Elden Lord, the fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this. <laughs> oh. Now, become. Okay. I guess I just had to have them? Not mad. Okay, so now I want to go get the Strength Talisman. Okay, so there's Radagon Scar Seal. Radagon Source Seal. 
Fire Scourge Heirloom. I thought we had that. But I guess not. Okay. Drops from the boss of Weeping Everjail, Ancient Heroes of More. Okay, so we have Radagon Scar Seal already equipped then, right? That's what this is. Yeah. So his Sore Seal, Fort Faroth, found on a corpse dropping down. Okay, where the f hell is Fort Faroth? Is that in Caleb? Okay, it is in Kaled. And then Fort Gale is the Star Scourge heirloom. Okay, and Fort Gale is in Kaled also. So, we can go check those out. Uh, Fort Gale's... right here um i can't tell if this is above the cave it kind of looks like it is we'll go see it's kind of fun to plan out builds in this game because there's just so many things you can do to affect everything uh can i get out of here easily Thinking not. So let's try Gale Tunnel. Can I leave here easily? Hmm. Well, I'm also guessing I can't leave here easily. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go over here then. Dude, auto playing videos on websites. So tilting. It's like aside from the fact that I find it incredibly annoying, you're wasting my bandwidth, bro. All right. Uh, it looks like we might be able to parkour this tree. Maybe. Uh, definitely not. Maybe over there though. Those roots look interesting. You can do it. Damn. Okay. I guess the peasant's way it is. Hopefully some of this counts as solid ground, or when I fall, it's going to really suck. Oh. I said peasant's way, but I lied. Damn, it's crazy how close... I'm pretty sure there was an item on that guy in the chair. So it's crazy how close we got without actually coming here. Sorry, right, boys. I'll have to excuse me. Hmm, locked up tight. All right. Around the back we go. I'm guessing we are um, slightly over leveled for being here. The fact that that gravity dickhead can shoot spells all the way up here is kind of 
uh, unnerving. Just slightly. Wow, y'all really raised your shields at the wrong time, didn't you? What's mad or uh, range look like against this guy? Just out of curiosity. Oh, he jumpy. He too jumpy? Yeah, I think he too jumpy. Well, I'm getting the side of him anyways. We'll fight him in a second. We'll fight him in a second. Oh, damn. The spirit in one of these chairs. That's sick. Convene the festival of war. Honor General Redon of the Warrior's glory. It's in your hands, Sir Jarn. You missed. You missed. Is this it? Ta-da. Cool. We should also probably get the Dex stuff while we're out pursuing stuff for a build. But strength will obviously be helpful for the old Serpent Hunter. Oh shit, a teleporter. Well then. Yeah, fuck it. Where are we headed? Oh. Not anywhere useful for me. Uh, Fort Faroth. Found on a corpse by dropping down the opening on the roof and looking around the wooden walkways. Okay. I think this is also the other half of Dactus to get up to uh, mountaintops, right? Yeah. Fuck it, we'll just clear him out. God, these guys are bastards. What fuck are you doing in there, bud? We gotta be able to hit him, right? Yeah, there we go. We only have to deal with one at a time. I'm not too worried about this. Are you going to come over here? Hello? Okay. Oops, that's my bad. There we go. Only took like five fucking shots. Um, I know there's another one here, right? At least one more. Oh, there's like three more. Alright. Yeah, we'll, uh... Peel them off one by one. Okay. Oh, you're just a regular, regular dude. Oops, forgot about one. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Oh, I wanted to get you with the repose. Come here. GG's. Alright, I missed an item. Probably another golden rune. Think we have to drop down from above for that one. I like that I'm pursuing hitting harder and not taking less damage. 
very on brand for me. So this is deck this, right? Yup. Didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Um, is this the one where the floor like crumbles or some shit? I don't remember. jump over there. I'm guessing we do. Big rat. Oh my god, dude. Big rat do big damage. Unlock the death, maybe? Okay. This is a bit scary. There we go. Alright. Now... We are set. This, does this one improve dex? It does not, just strength. Oh no, that's America's, my bad. Oh, you can only have one equipped, can't you? That's right, okay. Alright, so we can put on the strength talisman. Um... What do we need, or what do we have that does dex? Prosthesis wear heirloom. And then Millicent's prosthesis. Finish the side quest given by Gowry, and then return Mills, return to Millicent to receive a talisman. And then can be obtained by killing Millicent. Killing any point after this will also make her drop the talisman. If you choose to aid her at the end of the quest line and successfully fend off her sisters, she will drop the rotten wing sword insignia instead of this talisman. And that greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. Okay. I think Millicent's prosthesis would be better, but I don't really know if I want to kill Millicent. Let's uh let's look up a dex build for Elden Ring. Lead dex could be fun. I'm not doing quality though. Blood flame blade, interesting. Dex of 35 and Arcane of 20. Speed and damage using two weapons. That'd be alright. 
Dex of 40 with high endurance. Nag Nagakiba and Uchigatana. Okay. Dex of 40 with high vigor and endurance. Uchigatana or curved sword. Bloodhound's Fang is a brilliant weapon that will deal more damage per swing than any other weapon on the list. Comes with decent B scaling and dex, great base damage, wonderful curve grid sword move set, blah blah blah, yep. Air Tree's favoring green turtle, okay. I didn't even think about going for the Shard of Alexander. That's an interesting idea. Uh, stamina. Okay, let's look at the Erdtree's Favor and Green Turtle Talisman, and then... Shard of Alexander? Yeah. Warrior Jar Shard. Okay, right, so we have to complete Alexander's quest line, which I'm down to do. Talk to him again at Redman Castle. He can be summoned against Radon. Okay, so he can be found south of Star Scourge Radon, site of Grace, scavenging the remains of fallen soldiers. Okay. His next location is Liurnia of the Lakes, just south of Carrion Study Hall. He'll call out to the player if they come close and is stuck in a hole in the ground again. Okay, smacking him a few times like before won't do any good, and he says he'll need something to make him slippery. Apply an oil pot on him, and another good smack should dislodge him. He'll reward you with exalted flesh. Then talk about heading north to strengthen himself even further. Uh, he's found in a pool of lava on the west side of Mount Gelmir behind Magma Worm. The player can safely talk to him by walking on one of the spires jutting out of the lava pool. He wards the jar as a token of friendship and seeks to go to the Forge of the Giants in the east. Fire Giants. Crumbling Fair Missoula. Okay, so we can't get his item until very far in. Or we just kill him. What's the difference between the Shard of Alexander and the uh, Warrior Shard, though? 15%? Uh, what's the warrior jar shard? Oh. Okay, it's just what you get if you kill him before completing the quest line. Okay. So we could go find him in Mount Gelmir and kill him. haven't been to the subterranean shunning ground so we can't get it yet oh my god we have to do two stone sword keys to get um Erdry's favor jesus that's rough
Well, how many stone sword keys do we have? Oh yeah, I was gonna look. Medium or light roll. Sure. So I guess we'll just keep on keeping on with the uh, Bloodhound's Fang for now. Uh, Stone Sword Keys. They're in the key. Are they? Which I didn't have. Are they in this one? We have one. Okay, we need three to get all these talismans. So we'll go back to the round table and buy a couple. I think we got some cash to splash, maybe. Dude, the challenge videos that require just a boatload of planning, I appreciate them so much more just trying to plan out a build. Not even like, oh, I need these 18 different stats to do my challenge run, but literally just trying to do a build. The 5k from patches. I know one of these had some cheap stone sword keys. There's one. Might as well buy the crack pot while we're here. Those are 4k, alright. I don't think I have... Oh, I have a lot of bell bearings. And that just gave us, like, a handful of somber stuff, right? A bunch of glove wart, though. Okay. Um, I wonder what the first plus 10 we can get for Bloodhound Fang is. I also wonder if it's worth... We could reinforce Serpent Hunter a bit, I guess. It's not a bad call. That seems pretty decent to me. I will pop one rune, and then if we we will we will level it up as much as that gets us. probably enough for Rykard, but I wouldn't mind getting one more talisman. Um, green turtle talisman. Okay. Which one's going to be better? Urtree's favor is going to be better. Um, we could probably get both of them, I guess. So summon water. You found an underground area filled with turtles. The entrance is found slightly southeast of Summon Water Village and requires one stone sword key to unlock. Alright, where the heck is this? Just west of Kaelid. Oh, we still haven't visited Garonk. Okay, so Summon Water Village is right here. We can go to this tunnel entrance. And hopefully we can actually leave this one. Hell yeah. Did I mark the summer water cave? No, I did not. Assuming since it's in the water that it's down. Not here for you folks. Passing through, don't mind me. Turtles. And some more turtles.
That's a rune bear. Okay. Okay. Well, we didn't need to come all the way down. Kind of unforge. Uh, we could probably climb that, I guess. Wait, is this where we just were to uh, get the fucking cookbook? I think it is. That's funny how we just kind of ignored this place the first time and now back twice. Uh, yeah, I can't climb anymore, can I? Okay. I'm not going to chance that. We'll just go a normal way. Like fast travel. To a side of grace that literally has the thing in the name of it. Stone sword key somewhere. Uh, found slightly southeast of Summon Water Village. Okay. It's like where I marked. Okay. What was going on over there? Found in an underground area filled with turtles. We have killed one boss today. I decided that I would try and pursue some upgrades. Since I haven't really like focused on a build yet. So we went and got a couple talismans. Uh, a talisman pouch to equip more talismans. And now I'm looking for a hole full of turtles. So that I can get another talisman. build is indeed smack it with a sword until it dies. However, I would like to be able to more effectively smack it with a sword until it dies. Um. I'll watch a video. We'll watch a video. Ah, okay. I just ran right by it like eight times. I actually wasn't paying that much attention, so hopefully this is it. Yep. Cool. So this will give us um, a buff to, I think, stamina and HP. Or no, this is just the stamina one. Excuse me. Boosts stamina recovery speed. All right. So then the next one we need is in Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. 
which I think is where Patches and everybody, or not Patches, but um, Old Dragodrick lives. Yes, Cave of Knowledge, right? Found in Limgrave in a fog wall in Stranded Graveyard. Okay. Got it. Oh, right here. Hopefully this is the right area. I don't know if I've ever read any Brandon Sanderson. I'm excited to see Patches and Armored Core, though. I think that will be fun. Sorry, bud. Can't stick around. A jet. Yeah, it's, it actually sounds, or I shouldn't say sounds, it looks really interesting to me. Um, based on the gameplay trailer that they had, um, it's possible that there's going to be lock-on, which would be 100% new for a AC game, like Souls-like lock-on. Um, and they're also keeping uh, like a boost dodge mechanic. Oh god, is this gonna kill me? Ooh, barely. Oh, leave me alone. I just got here. So I, I definitely like. I appreciate mechs. Um, they're definitely not really my thing uh mech games at least aren't my thing because like the whole point of mech games is mech customization and like eh, that's way more management than i like to do in games personally but um if there's as many like souls like elements and whatnot in a uh, ac as it seems like there might be then uh i'm pretty excited Ooh, barely made it. I have no idea what's here. Oh, ulcerated tree spirit. Okay. Wasn't prepared. Okay. Seed and Banish Knight Oleg. I don't think we want to go... Do we want to go back? I don't even know. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, it is. It's down the, um, like, bridge that we crossed a little bit ago. Although I'm not upset about getting a golden seed and beating a boss. Although I didn't see that one on my, um, my list. Oh, it's because I marked him off. Even though... No, I didn't mark him off. Hmm. I don't have any idea. Oh, he's coming. Uh, this might be too close to the bottom to get back up. Okay, that was unnecessary. Oops. Alright, so I need to drop down on the side here. Not sure which side, but one of these I need to drop down on. Um, okay, thanks for that. This is fun. I'm just trying to figure out where I can actually like safely drop down on. I don't think it's here. Not. Yeah, just says drop down at the edge. So I guess we will see if we can figure it out. Can we make this drop? Yes, we can. I think that's what FromSoft thinks about every level. Is that it could use more poison. sure the chariot comes down here. Oh, scary. Yeah, so I guess just right here. I don't know, man. That seems like that should have killed me. I didn't know you got an early build of uh, AC6 already. That's crazy. There's going to be some absolutely mental bosses in AC, I'm sure. I'm sure there's going to be like some Dark Souls nonsense. What, what kind of flame trap is this? I waited for like 40 seconds and it didn't go off. Invisible? Nope. Good. Uh, wow, that 
it doesn't actually take me anywhere. Okay. There's more than one imp in here. I'm not stupid. This feels like a trap, okay. Okay, so we'll take off the jumping. Oh shit, you're alive? What the? Oh, there's two of you. Oh, did I just kill like your husband or something? Like, what is this? My bad. Sorry for not paying attention. Okay. Raises maximum HP, stamina, and a quick load. So we have plus dex up, plus max stamina, and um, everything else. I know we got a, is it the audience pathway maybe? I know we got a side of grace for red card. It sure enough is. All right, time to get out Serpent Hunter. Oh. And then we will put on our strength talisman. I wonder if the Meridian Amber Medallion would be better than the extra 40 HP. I feel like it is. I'll unequip this stuff for now. Can you summon your Mimic for this? You can. Alright, fuck it. We'll summon the Mimic. Dude, Mimic didn't work. I guess, yeah, I just gave him Serpent Hunter, didn't I? That says the weapon art is 2700. Okay. And the jumping R1 is 1161. And the jumping R2 is 3000. Jumping R2 it is. And I got caught in the grab. Cool. Dead? Not dead. But only barely. Yeah, there's a lot of FromSoft games where you get a weapon that is specific to a boss. Um, and this is the one specific to the boss in Elden Ring. Who knew a sword called Serpent Hunter would be good against the serpent? Oh, 
very well. I'm gonna do something. There you go, bud. Wamo combo. Card's great, right? In remembrance of the blasphemies. Uh, when Rykard kills you, he goes, yeah! but like in his gravelly horse voice, and it's hilarious. All right, so we'll pump Dex a little bit. I guess we need like 15k more souls. What uh, what can we get for his remembrance? I wonder. You can get Rykard's Rancor or Blasphemous Blade. Blasphemous Blade's pretty good, I think. But I think it's Strength. Strength, Dex, and Faith. Interesting. Or if we consume it, we get 50k runes. Well, I guess we can pop our remembrances that we're not going to use, which is, you know, all of them. Money. 
Okay, and then we need, what, 28k more? Thereabouts. I think we got that under the cushions. Uh, it's 15k. So we need 13k still. can go back to our dex stuff. No, we were using the, uh, yeah. And then we got to look at the boss map again. Because there's still a boatload of bosses up here. So that was Rykard. There's still the Magma Worm. There's the Falling Star Beast that we skipped out on. Godskin Noble we did. Oops, forgot to mark him off. He's pretty uneventful though. Alright, um, just south of Fort Laid in the Magma Pool. Okay, so if we go here to the fort and down, I think we'll be there. This is the guy that we noped out on earlier, like two streams, three streams ago. You hit my horsey. Alright, now let's see what kind of damage we're working on here. Ow. Ow. Alright. Note to self, don't walk in the lava. Fuck it, we'll mimic. Why not? Oh wow, we do way more damage than before. Like, it's still not amazing damage, but it's definitely manageable this time. Oh, shit. Please stop doing lava. If we can get a good bleed proc off, we'd be in pretty good business here. Pretty good business, pretty good shape. There's, there's our bleed proc. I would fucking uh, ooh, have reposted, but his limbs didn't seem to want me to do that. Okay. Oh, there is the magma worm down. So now um, Alexander should actually be here somewhere. He's over here. Maybe? He's supposed to be here somewhere. Oh, he's... Over here. Okay. 
Oh, and I forgot to pick up my runes, even though it's only like 2k. Goats are falling down, falling down, falling down. Demon goats are falling down all day long. Hmm. I spoke to him at Gale Tunnel. Did Radon. Do I need to speak to him at Lyernia? Okay. Well, let's go let's go to Lyernia and take care of him there. Yeah, like a little this goat is on fire. You know? Um He's north of this patch of trees, okay. Probably go to the artist shack. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do Alexander's quest line because if we fight him after his quest line, um, we can get a talisman that boosts our weapon art. So that like fun slash teleport and then like slash again that I do, it'll boost that by 15%. Which would be pretty nuts, given that we already hit like 1 or 1.5k uh, with that. So he should be around here somewhere, unless I need to speak to him at Radon's festival again, which I thought I did. Oh, here's the hole he would be in. Okay, so I definitely did not speak to him. At uh, Redman, then. What an adventure, man. Oh, hey, it's the boss fight here. Yeah, let's get this over with. I know this is a duo fight. Don't be fucking around. Oh my god, the damage, dude. Hello, Mr. Knight. I did not mean to get the instant repost. But whatever. Damn, you got killed off by a spirit. How's that make you feel, idiot? Um, I don't know if you can fail this step, to be honest. I don't know if Alexander's here, though. Oh, yeah, that's another boss fight. Do -do -do. I'm unintentionally completing boss fights trying to do a quest. Oh, the only other place he would be is out here still. Potentially.
There he is. Look at that. Ah, well, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a crock. Get it a crock pot. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward, and as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait. When next we meet. <laughs> the bodies found who could expect any less. Mm. Cool. Um oh I can't summon torrent? Yeah, I can. Weird. So where's the cave that's over here? Warded catacombs. Did we do that? I don't think we did. We did not. Uh we're probably strong enough for, for this now. We'll see. Because we fought one of the spirits or whatever that was in here and we got our shit kicked in last time, so. I'll give it another shot. I kind of forgot there was something over here, to be honest. Uh, let's go up the stair. Oh, well, we're just being attacked outright. Oh, yeah, this is way better. Okay. Didn't sign up to be triple teamed, I, I'll admit. Dude, the extra stam is actually ridiculous. I'm surprised at how much of a difference it seems to be making. It's a way bigger deal than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah, just hit me out of the air. That's fine. Okay. We could probably do this area. I just don't know if it's worth doing this area. If we should just continue Alexander's quest real quick. I'm really getting sidetracked here. But I did just drop my runes, so I at least have to go get those back. That was like two thirds of a level. Just, just grab these and be on my way. Can't teleport. That's fine. Oh, it looks like I need to buy some more arrows as well. We're down to 40... 50 arrows. I was going to say we're down to 40k, but we have 40k money. We do not have 40k arrows. Alright. So now... What is the companion jar talisman? I'm not confused. I'm intrigued. Apparently there's like a follow up to Alexander's quest. Raises potency of throwing pots. Okay. I do not care. Okay. So now we can go to Lyrnia. Not, not Gelmir. My bad. Um, do we have... An oil pot, though, is the question. Can we make one? Poison, poison, sacred order. We can't. Okay. So now we need to find the fucking oil pot cookbook. 
Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. Soap, oil pot, and roped oil pot. Abandoned Merchant Bite for a thousand runes. I knew I had seen the recipe somewhere. Oh my gosh. Dude, if there was a quest tracker for Elden Ring, it'd be the probably like the best edition you could do. Obviously, you could probably read the flags from the game files somehow. Um, like from your save. I bet someone could build one if they haven't already, but man, that would be an undertaking. Uh, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 17. Who's got good arrows? There aren't really better arrows now that I think about it. So now we can go visit him. Oh, uh, that's going to be down. So we definitely want Artist Shack. And then I actually don't know if we can do his quest. Um, hello? Yeah, we can do Mount Gelmir, but then we have to go to Kremlin for Amazula, which we can't do anytime soon. So, this will be the second to last quest step for our boy. Oh yeah, I guess I can equip that, can I? Well, hmm. We can try Mount Gelmir. Supposedly the Liurnia step can be skipped. I feel like I'm spending a lot of time on one item slash quest. Oh, well, if he's not here, um... We'll just come back and try and figure it out after uh, we unlock his final quest location anyways. Because we can't do much without that. Oh, he is here. Cool. business might you have in such a place as this i hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame considering that fleshly form of yours your timing though is impeccable as ever i've been making just the thing for you on my journey here take it i'm sure it'll suit you to a t but uh it's hardly more than lukewarm here i won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Perhaps I'll head... There's an old... Above the... No more Skeletor. Skeletor's out. Pot friend is in. 
Okay, uh, bosses in Mount Gelmir. Okay, so we have the fully grown Falling Star Beast. Uh, there's a cave. There's another cave. I am indeed a pothead. Hmm. There's a boss, like, right here. Oh, wait, I wonder if this is the... Boss that we kept that I was like, this is fine, but I don't want to do this. I think it is. Yeah, 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 I bet it is. Okay. And just like I've done the entire rest of this run, I waited until I was overleveled to come back. Now I will be able to one-shot almost everything. Yeah, because I had tried to kite her because I didn't want to deal with all these glintstone dickheads. Well, they don't look too bad right now. The glintstone dickheads, that is. What's up, Maggie? Wait, do you get... Can I stagger lock you with my bow? Hold on. Oh. Ow. I like that. I'm kind of tempted to summon my mimic. Right. I'm too impatient for this. Oh, Jesus, you hit hard. Way harder than I was expecting. Holy shit. Yeah, I like that this is a mage, but they bonked me once and I just got absolutely shit on. Oh, were those summons or something somehow? Memory stone, cool, cool. And a great knife. Now oh, that's a knife. And we might as well grab the Sight of Grace over here, just because why not? And grab the best spell in the game as well. Because why not? Is there even anything, like, over here? I guess it just kind of takes you back, eh? Alright, so that is Demi-Human Queen Maggie. So there's two in a cave kind of south of us. All right, so there's only a couple more around here. There's one in a cave that we won't be able to get to. There's the Falling Star Beast that we're kind of close to, but I think we probably have a better way to get to them. Let's look. Oh, yeah, we literally have like a, a spot. Right next to him. Alright. We can try this again.
We tried on torrent. Shoot meme. Oh, I guess we're not memeing. He said no. No to the memes. Yeah, just stay focused on the guy doing zero damage to you. Okay. Yep. Okay. tracks oh my god dude right under him we're out of the old blue juice That's the uh, Falling Star Beast Jaw, right? Yeah, that's a strength weapon, I think. A good strength weapon, too. Strength and int. Strength and int, indeed. Cool. There's one more boss up here we can grab after we grab this level. We'll go for 40 decks, because why not? All right, the other boss is going to be over here. Is this a cave? It is a cave, okay. Uh, Torrent, could you cooperate please, sir? Thank you. Hmm, it's more this way, eh? Like up there? That seems likely. Before we do that, though, I really gotta go to the bathroom. I will be right back.
I feel like me shocking my stream deck and making my Elgato capture card freak out is like a precursor to me getting back on stream. Hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure where to go from here. Yeah, I've, I've never owned stuff that's as sensitive to being shocked as um, Elgato stuff. It's so weird. I am like right... Oh my god, dude. I would have been so tilted if I had missed this. What the fuck? But okay. Listen. I know y'all had had a cave all to yourself, but um, not anymore. Now you're all just dead. Alright, so we got a forked path and we took not the one nearby. Shield, sliver of meat, arteria leaf. My first playthrough, dude, every time I got arteria leaf, I was so pissed because you're like, oh, it's a special item, and it's literally just fucking crafting material that I never once used. All right, so now we drop down. There's the boss door. Is there anything else I care about in here? Probably not. Let's be honest. Oh man. Not very nice of you, Margo. Well, that was a quick fight. For the jar cannon. Strength Ballista uses explosives to fire great bolts. Deals great damage, but reloads slowly. Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I always find myself having used way less materials than I'm supposed to in games. I'm just not usually a big crafter. Just not my, not my thing. All right, so that's the last one kind of on the plateau. Still have like 20 minutes before I gotta go. Gotta work tonight. Always fun times. All right. Uh, where's Sage's cave? Hmm. I wonder if that's down below. I kind of bet it is. We'll check up here, but I bet it's below us.
That is very true. Work is not as fun as Elden Ring. Wiser words may have never been spoken. Yeah, I'm guessing it's down there. Which... Does this take us down there? It does appear to do that. Oh yeah, and I probably was just like, I'm not gonna fuck with all these stupid ass flowers and ignored this area. That makes sense. Purple. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Into the Sage's cave. And we are two thousand percent going to be over leveled for this area. Can you jump down there? Oh, there's skeletons. Um, maybe. Probably not advisable, though. I will become the Hosage. Believe it. Wow, what could these torches be here for? I wonder. A lot of shit in this cave. Wow. Silver pickled fowl foot. Five of them, Jesus. A black hood. Not better than my jar. Candle tree wooden shield. I will never use it. And a nascent butterfly. A crafting material I will also probably never use. Well, if the skeletons in this area are any uh, evidence of the levels of the bosses, we're probably going to be just fine. Oh. Somebody who takes more than two hits to kill. I'm impressed. And another illusory wall with a chest. Or a stone sword key. I don't know how many more stone sword keys we're going to need, honestly. We have quite the supply of them now. Raptor Towns? Ooh, I bet those are sick. Those have to be a dex weapon, right? Causes blood loss buildup, indeed. Comprised of two sharp, thin blades wielded by the Assassin of Ravenmount. This weapon allows them to imitate the attacks of death birds. Besides excelling in airborne attacks, its charge attack mimics the vicious swoop of a bird of prey. So they're just like regular claws. I don't know. This, these do have quick step though. That's actually pretty neat. Golden great arrows. 
Yeah, they're probably a really good bleed weapon because they have higher bleed. I almost said blood. Bleed build up than my um, Bloodhound Fang and they attack way quicker. Jesus Christ, dude, more chests? Why? Why is this necessary? Raptors, black feathers. Oh, you can cosplay as a bird from this cave. Skeletal mask, sick. Here's one of the two bosses. Necromancer Garrus. He's about to just get absolutely slapped. You know what? I'm going to heal before I die, preferably. Alright. Sorry, Garrus. Adios, muchacho. Weird skull snail thing. Family heads. That sounds creepy. Okay, there's the chests here. But I think there's another pathway... There is indeed. Hey, that's crazy that you could just go to one boss or the other and just like not fight both of them if you wanted. Oh, fuck this one. Okay, hold on. Wait, I'm about to get backstabbed. You know what, fuck it. Let's summon the minutes, see what happens. Yep, there we go. Absolutely slap, dude. Oh my god, my mimic knows exactly where he is. That's hilarious. Concealing veil. Alright. One cave, two bosses. That is Necromancer Garrus. Thought he died in Mass Effect, honestly. I'm surprised to see him here. And Black Knife Assassin. There are just one, two, three more bosses on the entirety of Mount Gelmir. Um, let me see. How do you get to this cave? Sight of Grace, Schoolhouse, Classroom, and Wat Raya Lucardia Academy to access this location. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, oh, you have to... Got it. Got it, got it, got it. You have to uh, take the water wheel down and get abducted. That'll be fun. Can they put on a sacrificial twig? Might as well. Do I care? No, I don't. Well, I care a little bit. Oh no, what's gonna happen? I... Is this gonna be enough to kill me? Nope. This will be though, right? Yeah. You died. I'll count it. Even though it's like the only way to get to this boss.
I didn't even look at the uh, like description or anything for my jar. Jar that fits cleanly over the head when upturned. Made with pride by Ironfist Alexander. In a uniquely jar-like gesture of friendship, it boosts the power of throwing pot items. Cool. I hate these stupid bats, dude. More bats. Damn it. I think a fun achievement for this game would be um to fight the like a death bird with those claws that we picked up that has the death bird moveset. I think that'd be pretty neat. Honestly, you could probably call me Bane because I keep killing all the bats. Oh, you don't one hit here. Okay. You're a little stronger. Side of grace. We need 61, so we need 15,000 runes. We got them in the pocket. We sure do. Two more to get to 40 decks. I don't know if that's the soft cap in this game. It is in most of the other from soft games, though. Well, I would be surprised if it's not the soft cap in this game as well. Sometimes I look at the wall and I'm like, nah, that's not real. But then it is. Is that a golden door I see? It sure is. There's two of you? Well, there's two of me if I don't die immediately. Hallelujah. Okay. Alright. I like how he got grabbed immediately. GG, easy clap. That is the Abductor Virgins times two. That just leaves us with two more fights on Mount Gelmir. We are almost at a hundred bosses. This is what our map is looking like. Pretty expected. Obviously, we don't have access to mountaintops yet or Faramazula. We have not been to the capital, although we did get into the main capital gate. These are the two left on Mount Gelmir. Uh, we haven't been up here because you have to go, I think you have to beat the uh, gargoyles to get here. So we'll have to do these at some point. Um, this is a night boss, night boss. 
crafted scion. I think you have to take a teleporter. Soldier of Godric. I'm trying to leave him till the very, very end. Um, this southern portion of Caleb we can probably do pretty easily. The northern portion might still be a little high level for us. We'll see. Uh, but yeah. We'll definitely, almost for sure, probably positively hit 100 bosses next stream on what thursday um we did 12 bosses today so we'll probably do like seven seven to 12 7 to 15 next time we play um i think we'll finish up with mount gelmir and then where's the game think we should go next to the capital right yeah so we'll probably do capital um we'll do a couple of these bosses and then we'll probably end up in the sewers if i had to guess we'll probably do godfrey i don't know if we'll make it to morgot definitely won't make it to horalu though but yeah that is uh that is gonna do it for me thanks for hanging out hope you enjoyed the stream and i will be back on thursday with some more elden ring until then adios